All right, thank you very much for clicking on the video. This is Gullpain back again with another quick uh, Games with Dogs or Game with Dog or Games with Dog. Uh, depending on if there's multiple, there could be multiple dogs in one game. Uh, so this one is the Blair Witch. And um, the only reason I bought this uh, was because of a recommendation from PJ Venom, uh, one of my YouTube buddies. And um, he was, he I think he put it in a comment or somewhere anyway, that he said I should check out Blair Witch because that has a dog in it. And if there's a game with a dog in it, I'm a sucker for it. And uh, this one is, I think this one is probably the perfect um, games with dog or, or game with a with a dog in it. Uh, because this one, like you don't, you use the dog as sort of like your defense or like it, you're, the dog is very much used in this game. You, you're like an ex-police officer. Uh, is it Elias or Elias? And um, you basically have to, uh, well, you, you arrive at this um, forest and there's a little boy missing. And you are sort of, it's set in 1996. Um, I think it's a couple of years after the, the Blair Witch movie, which I don't think I actually saw. But um, you basically have to uh, roam around the forest and look for clues. And uh, you use the dog to, um, he kind of, he, you can set, you can ask the dog for to look for things or you can pet him, um, tell him he's a good boy, etc. Uh, his name is uh, Bullet, and uh, it's kind of, I haven't finished the game yet, but it's kind of um, alluded to that uh, your character has had some sort of mental breakdown, and the dog is, is like um, like a support animal. I think so, anyway. Because uh, you can't, something happens when um, the dog goes too far away from you, something happens, you, you kind of go crazy or something, but um, I don't go too far away from the dog anyway, so because I like to, I like to keep him uh, beside me. But um yeah the the combat in the game is strange because there's well the one the combat I've come across so far I haven't actually uh, completed the whole game yet but uh the combat I've come across so far is like there's a kind of apparitions or ghosts or something and then you have to shine your torch towards them but bullet the dog he like barks in a direction and then that's the direction that uh, the um the apparition or the ghost is going to be in so most of the game is kind of walking around looking for looking for clues picking stuff up and uh, trying to figure out like where to go because the forest seems to be like a big maze. Uh, the areas look very similar as well. Um, yeah, and uh, really enjoyed it. Really like it. It's not really scary, like, but um, I just I really like the um the advent of uh of bullet. It kind of reminds me of uh like walking around with your dog in Fallout Four, just without all of the you know loads and loads of stuff to collect or mutants, you know, or post apocalyptic wasteland. Um, but yeah, it's very similar to that. Um. Yeah, it's, a, it's just, a, just a really good game. I can recommend it as well. So I can say that um, the person that recommended it to me did, did make a very good recommendation uh, indeed uh, for this game. I got it on the Xbox 360, but I'm playing it on the Series X. So it looks really, really good. I must say that the graphics are, are excellent. And uh, at the very start of the game as well, you can pick, you can customize the dog somewhat. Like you can pick his eye color and you can also pick like his, um, his uh, dog collar color. And roughly like what color he is, so you can make him like you know look like a German Shepherd or sort of look like a like that kind of um, gold and black that the the German Shepherds are, or you can make him look like more sort of like a wolf or something where he's all kind of dark. Uh, I think so, yeah. Um, I didn't customize the dog that much. I kind of I think I just left him the the um, the starting color because it looked nice, and then I just changed his eye color to green or something. Same color as my eyes. Um, so yeah. So yeah. Anyway, very very good game. Can totally recommend it. And. Um, I just have the footage from the E3 uh, trailer here because uh, the footage I captured was from basically just like gameplay and stuff like so. But then I realized the dog kind of where, where the dog looks very nice is um is in the trailer or is, is in the, the sort of story scenes. So, um yeah, excellent game. So if you've played Blair Witch or you like uh, games with dogs, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios. Thanks for watching.